Hello, we just finished meeting on Monday night at six for the pronunciation group. And we have a lot of very good words, very interesting words, and some that were difficult for me. Um, so number three on the spreadsheet, cohort, cohort, vigorous, vigorous, abolish, abolish, chores. And for this one, make sure you have a ch at the beginning and a z, z at the end, chores. Seven, Aaron, Aaron. Laundry, laundry, lingerie, lingerie, vehemently, vehemently, every day, every day, effort. Now, this is number 12, and forget about it looks like OR because it sounds like ER, er, like her. Effort. 13, bell curve. So mem remember to hold your tongue in the L position longer for the final L in bell so that it can be heard. Bell curve. Hypercare. Hypercare. And you have a couple options for literally. You can say literally. T changes to a D and you have four syllables or you can make it shorter, keep the T and say literally, literally, or literally. The, oh, theoretical. The reason I had to restart my hand was because before your voice goes higher, it stays flat. So it's not theoretical, it's theoretical, theoretical. Interstellar. You can say it with a T like that, or no T, inner, interstellar. Abashed, abashed. Absolescence, absolescence. Oh, I'm sorry, ob. I said ab, abs. I don't know why I said that. Maybe I should spell, change the way I spelled it in column B. It's ob, ah. That's why I put A-H, I think, to think of ah. Obsolescence obsolescence. Um, 20, learned. And it could also be an adjective and be two syllables, learned. And it could also be with a T, learnt. And we had to look up, I had to look up 21, supernovae is the plural of super, supernova. Supernovae. Surmise, surmise, afford, 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 oh, affordable. Sometimes my hand didn't match what I was saying. Affordable, wicked, wicked. <laughs> and I surmise made me think of smize, which is uh, what, um, I forgot her name again. America's Next Top Model um, is she put together smile and eyes. Tyra Banks, smiles. You're smiling with your eyes. Smiles. Acknowledge. And this one, 27, you don't have to say ac and release the K. When you say ac, your tongue should go very high for the K in the back of your mouth. Ac, just hold it there and stop the airflow. Ac knowledge going from the K to the N without saying acknowledge. So no k sound, just acknowledge, acknowledge. Rendezvous, rendezvous. Schadenfreude, schadenfreude. Freu is secondary stress, so it gets a little longer, but not higher because we can't be too jumpy in English, schadenfreude. It has to be schadenfreude. One, two, three, four. Catastrophe, catastrophe. And I have no difference between 31 berry, B-U-R-Y, and berry, B-E-R-R-Y. And it, I put bear 
E, because it sounds like the bear animal, berry. And 32, beard. When you say that, your tongue should go very high for the B and then slide down for a Y, beard. But 33, bird. Don't think about, is it spelled with an I? Is it spelled with an E? It doesn't matter because you're just putting your tongue in the R position, er, and making noise, er. So if you think of um, a wild animal, er, just without the growling, you're making it. That's the sound, er, bird. So to practice them both in a sentence, I put, I have never seen a bird with a beard. A bird with a beard. That's it. Um, thank everybody for coming. And um, I do pronunciation on Mondays at 6 and Tuesdays at noon um, Eastern time to try to um, help more people in different time zones come. And on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time is American English Intonation. We work on sentences and also word stress. So have a good evening.